Since the dawn of human civilization, we have adapted ourselves to the natural surroundings. We utilized various things that were found in nature to our needs. Right from the use of rocks and stones for making weapons, to wood for making fire, nature has always helped us to survive. However, over the years, our needs gradually grew and became more varied. We learned various ways to utilize the resources found in the natural environment to grow crops and lead a settled life. But as time went by, gradually our needs increased and we found ourselves in the industrial age. Factories and workshops were set up to produce large quantities of goods. Our cars became faster and cities became larger. Before we could realize it, we had changed the natural environment in more ways than we could ever imagine. With the increase in the number of factories, cars and other infrastructure, we also started polluting our environment. The waste from industries polluted our rivers. Fumes from cars polluted the air. The plastic waste polluted our soil. Cutting down of trees on a massive scale has led to deforestation. Landslides and drought. While we were busy changing the natural environment around us, we failed to realize how we have harmed our environment. So, what's the way forward? How can we save our environment? Think about the times when you had juicy mangoes in summers or sweet oranges in the winters. Now, do you think this would be possible if we don't get fruits from our natural environment? Certainly not. Now, we can utilize the resources from the natural environment, but we must not exploit or overutilize the available resources which would lead to the degradation of the natural environment. We can start by taking small steps. The principle of the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle to create a balance between the natural and human environment can be a good start. Small steps such as reducing the usage of water and electricity. Switch off the fans while you leave the room. Turn off the tap to not waste water. Use reusable bags. Plastic bags that get thrown out end up in landfills or in other parts of the environment. They in turn damage the ecosystem there. Recycle. Use old things again. Don't just throw them away. Be it your toys or your reading books. You can always share them. Learn to live with an attitude of recycling. These are just some starting steps that we could take. Humans want food to live, vehicles to travel, buildings to stay in. However, our needs should not come at a cost of destroying our natural environment. We need to live in harmony with nature. And the first step towards doing that is to learn all there is to know about our environment. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.